हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल प्रिंस ऑटोमेशन डेस्टिनेशन दिस सेट प्रिंस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट जन एआई टॉपिक दैट इज क्रोम डेव टूल एआई असिस्टेंट एंड इट्स यूजेस इन टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन एंड बिफोर वी जंप ऑन टू द डिस्कशन आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस मोर ऑन व्हाई शुड वी लर्न एआई बिकॉज एआई इज ट्रेंडिंग इन द मार्केट एंड टुडेस टाइम इज एआई टाइम and without learning ai we won't be able to survive because if you remember prior to ai we used to find the solution over the internet for that purpose we used to navigate to multiple sites which was time taking activity but with the help of chat gpt and other tools it become easy to find out the solution within the fraction of seconds and you'll be wonder that we can even create the frameworks within the fraction of minutes with the tool like bolt new which i have recently covered as part of one of one of the video with the help of which i created a framework from scratch you can check out the same in my in the i icon right so it become important to learn ai and to excel on this particular skill and my personal suggestion is please learn it otherwise you are going to repent for same so without further delay let me jump on to the discussion right so we are going to talk about chrome dev tool ai assistant what it can help us with it can help us finding the elements so we can find out the elements we can find x path id and other locators we can check the network tab and we can debug we can ask why this particular request is failing and other details from that particular call right we can check the sources details and we can check the performance traces as well as part of current discussion i am going to talk about css styles and networks and some of some part of sources also i'll be covering but performance i won't be covering as i haven't figured out much on performance but i'll soon try to find something on performance and we'll try to cover chrome dev tool ai assistant along with performance so without further delay let me jump on to chrome browser so i'm going to Uh, talk about Chrome Dev Tool AI Assistant in Amazon dot in website, right? So I'm going to right click and click on Inspect, right? As soon as you right click on this, you will start seeing this particular AI Assistance section, right? In case you don't see, you can simply right click on any element and you can click on Ask AI, and as a result, you will start seeing this particular interface, right? So with the help of this AI Assistance, we can. talk to css styles meaning we can find out details on css styles that is elements we can check network details we can check sources details right and we can check the performance stresses right after uh, getting here you will have to click on this learn about ai tools and you will have to enable these options in case you are not directly able to talk to this particular ai tool right so let us understand some basics of gen ai so in order to talk to gen ai we will have to send the message and this message is known as prompt right and we will have to send the message in such a way that it should be able to understand meaning the gen ai tool should be able to understand this concept is known as prompt engineering meaning the way we are sending the message it should be formatted it should be accurate enough so that gen ai tool can understand this right so this term is known as prompt engineering the way of sending the message in such a way that we are getting the accurate result don't worry about all these things i'm soon planning a series on gen ai in stlc that is how to utilize gen ai in test automation or in other part of software testing life cycle right so now i'm going to click on our first topic that is elements so let me click on elements i prefer clicking on body and click on ask ai right so with the help of ask ai what i'm going to do you will see this particular interface now now we are going to talk to this particular ai assistant right so i'll say could you please provide x path for search field so let us see whether it provides x path for search field or not so we got the x path could you please enter rebook in search field as it is going to be the action so it is going to ask us it will provide the javascript so it will ask us to click on continue so it will click on continue it is entering the data right so it entered rebook right 
now what i'm going to do i am simply going to say could you please clear search field so for this is again my action so let me click on continue so it has cleared the field right could you please provide the above steps in selenium java format so let us see whether it is able to generate it so it has written the code we can simply copy it and we can use it right so you see it has defined the driver right it is launching amazon.com and it is searching like it has find out search field it is performing send keys operation waiting for some time that is two seconds it is clearing the field and again waiting and at last it is clicking so we can simply do anything right so what else we can do so it is it is testing other things as well now the main important part is we can simply ask could you provide please provide this code in playwright with js so with the help of this we can get the comparative code which we can use as a reference to understand how to write code in playwright right so if you will notice that in selenium we were using driver dot get here we use page dot go to so pages uh one of the what I, I i don't remember right but there is some context in page as like we have driver in uh, selenium here in playwright we have page right so uh i believe it we, we call it construct but i don't exactly remember i don't want to give false information so driver dot get in selenium and here it is page dot go to so to find out the field we use page dot locator there we were using driver dot find element await search field dot fill fill is used to fill the data in selenium it is sand keys this is for timeout there we were using thread dot sleep this is to clear the field right so this is how we can understand the code as a reference by comparing it with selenium right this is how we can utilize this particular tool right so it become easy right what else we can do right so we can do some other things as well right like for example we want to find out the elements of this particular page right so for that purpose i'll be simply clicking on this and we'll try to figure out where it fall right so i'm clicking here i want to get all the list elements right of this particular nav ul right so i'll simply say could you please provide xpath for all the elements of navui navul right let us see whether it will it will provide right so it has started providing it could you please provide little detailed one like name of the list element for example fresh right so fresh is one field here right so i'm giving giving it as an example right so let us see whether it is able to provide so you see it has provided the element in this format right now could you please provide the above xpath in following format at the rate find by and on top what we want xpath and i'll copy one of the xpath right let me copy one of the xpath so this is one of the xpath right that we can copy so we are giving it some example right so that it will understand easily so private web element and 
I believe we will have to provide something else as well along with this because this is for fresh, right? Fresh, right? So let us see whether it will provide this data or not. So it is analyzing, it will take some time. So now you see that we are able to construct the entire page with the list of elements within the fraction of seconds. So what we need is we need, we'll have to verify each of these experts, right? So our work become quite easy with the help of this particular tool, right? So we can find out the expat or different locators. We can create the entire page. We can get the code in the form of Selenium. We can get it in the form of Playwright, right? Now let us clear this chat, right? And let us discuss about network, right? <coughs> Sorry. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to search one field pre book, right? So for search, it will perform something right it would have performed some something on search right so for that purpose there would be a search hole or we can check any other field as well so let me search for s question mark there was something related to s question mark or we can try it again one second let me clear this and let me click on this right so you see that it is giving this s question mark right i'm going to right click on this and click on ask ai right so what i can check please what is this network request why is this network request taking so long are there any security headers so i'm going to check could you please provide more details of this call so you see it is giving the detail this is a get request this is the entire path right we have searched this this is how much it took we can check what is the status code has it got is it a success call or failure this is success success right does it contain some sensitive data i cannot determine right so whatever it can provide it will be able to provide it right so this is how we can utilize ai assistance to debug the network call we can check the status codes we can check why it, why it took this long right so it will give us detail so you see that it is waiting for server that is the reason it is it is giving the information right why it took that much time right now i'm going to clear it up and i'm going to talk about another thing right which is files right so here if you'll see these are some of the sources right so i'm going to right click on this right ask ai so i'll simply say could you please explain the purpose of this file right so let us see it should be able to this file appears to be an HTML document right for search results page on the Amazon India's website specifically for the search term so this particular section right whatever we just discussed sources we may not be using in test automation but we are going to definitely utilize this elements and network call in test automation and we can be get more productive by utilizing this particular AI assistance so this is what I wanted to cover guys I would request you to please try it on your own to get more understanding towards it and try utilizing it in your organizations depending on whether it is restricted in your organizations or not so this is what i wanted to cover guys thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again